which, yep. which is perfectly fine. Yep. I don't have an issue with you reaching out or anything like that on your own. That's that's perfectly fine. But to negate that, I will present the, the offer to her. I have, and she's not interested. So I I I, I mean I just I don't understand <laughs> what what the point was with that. If you call it because you're interested in it, that's perfectly fine. But to say that I'm not presenting it, I don't have nothing against you to not present your offer. That's my fiduciary duty. So, I'm gonna present whatever comes to the door. Chanel. Um, just so, just to kind of calm you down a little bit, because I can tell you're worked up. I did not say in my text message that you weren't presenting it. Never said that. I said I was scared that that might be the case, because I don't know. So I said, hey, just give me a call if you can. Yeah, but, but what I'm telling you is that didn't have to, that didn't have anything to do with it. If I told you that I presented it and she's not interested, you should have left it at that. Well, I appreciate that, and I appreciate your integrity. Not all agents have that, so I took it upon myself to reach out, and if she's still not interested, then that's okay. There's just no need for you to call me on with, with this much hostility. Like I said, I, I thank you so much for your integrity. There's not a lot of agents who have that. And there's been multiple times where my, my offer has not been presented. So I did okay. take it upon myself to reach out to her. And well, she's perfectly fine. And I want you to understand I don't have no issues with that. I, I, okay. I, I, I'm not that person. I don't have no issues with that. That's perfectly fine. So I told her, you can talk to her. Maybe he can explain it better to you. But she said, no, she's not interested. She wants to sell it and be done. She doesn't want to keep her voice. Okay. So so what is it that, that got you worked up? Why did you feel the need to call me? Well, I felt the need to call you because of how it was presented to me. What okay. she just shared with me was that I guess you, you felt like I wasn't presenting to her. And I'm like, you know, that that's not how I conduct business. Yeah. And, and, and I'm... Absolutely. That. And I and I greatly, greatly appreciate that. So that was my reason for the call to assure you that every time you call and you're presenting an offer, I'm gonna always present it to her. Awesome. That's not if they have book if they have awesome. book of questions about that. Yeah, like I said, I greatly appreciate that. There's just okay, a no lot problem. Of you have a blessed day. <laughs> So why are you why are you even selling this property? You only bought it like a year ago. Right, and that's something I don't have to disclose with you. Yeah, no, you don't. No, you don't. I was just being. It's just per, it's just personal reasons. There's nothing wrong with the property or anything. Yeah, yeah. It's personal reasons. And you got tenants in there, correct? Uh, the tenants there, yep. They've been there. One tenant's been there eight years, and one been there three years. Oh wow! So you bought it with them already in place. That's awesome. That's awesome. Do you have multiple investment properties or is this your only one? No, this is my only one. 
Or are you just trying to get out the game or, or what? Now. Yeah, I hear that. Are you located yeah. in Murfreesboro as well? I'm a, I'm a Nashville native. <laughs> Born and raised? Mm -hmm. That's what's up. That's what's up. Well, I'm in, I'm in Murfreesboro. Like I said, I'm right down the street. I told Sheila I wanted to, you know, take you guys out and, and pitch it to her. Um, and, and, Chanel. Mm -hmm. Now you told who? Who is Sheila? You told Chanel. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, Chanel. <laughs> Chanel, why do you, why why don't you like me, Chanel? What what I do? It's not about me liking you. I just didn't know who Sheila was. <laughs> I, I was talking to you most of the time, so I don't I don't know who Sheila is. It's funny because on the uh, on the listing on Zillow, the name on there is Sheila, and that's the name I copied and pasted into my spreadsheet. So that's my fault. I know your name, Chanel. I just I was just reading that. I'm I'm so sorry about that. Oh okay. No so you go so you go around and hunt for people. Will accept offers like this. So I go around. Have a spreadsheet. <laughs> yeah. Spreadsheet. Yeah, yeah. I go around and I do a little bit of everything, right? Some yeah. properties make sense for me to do cash. Some properties make sense for me to do this. This property, since you don't so have why a. This property don't make sense for you to do cash. Because she doesn't have a bunch of equity. Right. I'm, I'm an investor, so I'm in it to make money. At the price that. Miss Sheila, I mean, Miss Sheila, <laughs> the price she needs to get it at would needs to be somebody who's willing to pay top dollar. And unfortunately, that's not me. But if we were able to do it subject to, that's the transaction I was explaining, then I could give you cash out of my pocket and then just take over that loan, right? The only people who, who make money in that situation is the banks. If I take out a loan to pay off your loan, only the banks are making money. But if I take over your loan and I put cash in your pocket, now we're making money. Yes, but let, let me say this though. That $5,000 don't, uh, <laughs> that's not no money. I mean, I mean, that's that just, that, that, move me that was, that was just my initial thought because on our first conversation, she said that you wouldn't be able to walk away with any money. Right. But, but I mean, what's, what's a number that you want? <laughs> I'm saying if we if we did a a, a transaction like this, you said five thousand dollars isn't any money. How much money would have to would no, move you? Uh, well, you're saying if we did a transaction like what? Because uh, I'm probably not ever going to give in to you know signing a deed over. Well, I mean that's okay. We're we're just in hypotheticals now because you said that the five thousand dollars doesn't move you. So I just simply asked, well, what what would move you? I would have to look at the numbers. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm out right now with our public. I made an appointment for. I just wanted to honor your, your phone call. Well, I, I appreciate you doing that. And um, if, if 60, 90 days go by and that house, nobody has come with the right price, my offer still stands. And I'm very willing to sit down and, and talk numbers. If $5,000 is not it, then let's creep up to an amount that makes sense for you. With you assuming the mortgage and, and um, purchasing the home through the bank loan? <laughs> no. So I'm not going to give you cash. So if you're looking for cash, then there's just no need for us to talk. I was just saying if, if 90 days go by and that loan. When you say cash, what do you mean by that? So I would come in and pay your note. I'll, I'll come in with cash money and pay whatever amount that is agreed on. So. I think it's what, 290 right now or something like that. I would bring $290,000 cash to the closing table, pay your note out and pay you the remainder. Yeah, wow. So cash, I won't do cash. My offer is subject to where that loan would stay in place and I would give you some cash at the closing table to walk away. Now you said $5,000 doesn't move you. So I asked what would. So if 90 days go by and the, this property still isn't moving and you don't want to deal with it anymore, then I'd love to have a conversation about what number would move you to, to do a transaction like that. Okay. And in the meantime, maybe you can come up with something else too besides, you know, your initial uh, proposal. I mean, there's, there's only two ways to go about it, right? So somebody can either come in. Well, maybe you can change your mind. <laughs> 
<laughs> so we'll both Maybe so, you can change your mind. so so in the 90 days we'll both sit down and think about it and we might change our minds at the end all right okay akita right. i really appreciate you giving me the time of day i really appreciate that chanel and thank you so much for making that making this happen all right then thank you all right ladies you guys have a good one Thank you.